Well, hello. Uh, lost cartridge, code read. Well, well, new game. It created by it created by the person behind the game of Lily's Well. Also, goddamn. This is something. Ah, the supporters. Graves. Oh, what the? The cutting edge. Reassuring statistic. Untimely demise. Easy prey. I want to guess. Oh, something tells me. Something tells me. Oh. Well, I guess we'll have to go through this game. This game contains an autosave function that saves every time the map is changed. Manual saves can be made at any time through the pause menu with a few exceptions. January 2002. What? It is a cold winter evening. Mitch is waiting near the phone for a special call. The snow outside will only get worse with each passing minute. The sun will soon disappear past the horizon. Ugh. Yes, hello. Hello, this is a courtesy call from New Man's Pharmacy for Mitchell Hayes. Is this the correct number? Yeah, right here. Is this about my order? Yes, your prescription is now filled, is now filled and ready for pickup. That's great, I'll be right there. As Mitch gets ready for the bitter cold, he sees his mother sleeping on the couch after a long shift. Not wanting to disturb her and without a license of his own, Mitch begins his walk. The setting sun colors the snow with blue and purple hues. While beautiful, it serves as a warning that nighttime will soon arrive. Also, goddamn, is it loud? This game is sort of loud. Ringling! Here you go. Be careful on the roads. The storm's gonna get pretty bad tonight. Thanks, but I'm going by foot. Hard to hit a streetlight when you're as slow as me. Jeez, how far are you? We're gonna be closing up in an hour. If you want, I can take you once my shift's over. Unfortunately, Mitch's desire to not have his mother wake up and worry about his whereabouts outweighed any self-preservation instincts. It's just a few blocks. I'll be fine. Alright, just be careful out there. Thanks. Will do. With that, Mitch went off into the night with the lights of the street lamps to guide his way. Shoot, it's already late. Better pick up the pace. Ugh, should have brought my ski mask. Then again, the, the pharmacy does get robbed a lot. No amount of pills will stop a heart attack from Mr. Newman pointing his shotgun at me. I'm just casually walking. I can't even run. Which I'm pretty sure is usually the shift key. Aw, oh, crap. I accidentally... Aw, oh, crap. The sticky keys? Nope. Nope, it's not the, the sticky keys, computer. Oh shit! There's that accident! Looks like I have to take another road. But the next road is... I might freeze if I turn around now. Library parking lot, here we go. Can I just go to the... Nah. Huh. It's pretty dark and spooky looking. Yeah, I can't even run. So I guess... I'm just casually walking. Or rather, just just speed walking. Formal speed walking is on the way. Formal speed walk is on the way. 
Wait. Is that, is that a gravestone? Yeah, it is. Shit, I thought I wasn't going to get like this for a while. Maybe the library is open. I can't stay out here any longer. So, I guess I'll go into the library. Unless it's like the last game where you have to get every death scene in order to get the true ending. Chh, it's still cold in here. Do they turn the heat off at night? Oh, I'm not moving. That's. He's moving. I'm not moving. He's moving. Hello? Is anyone here? Nothing. Did they forget to lock the place up? Maybe they still have the payphones by the garden doors. I can just bite the bullet and call mom. Another one bites the dust. Ugh. What is this? Did they close the garden for the winter? But still. Whatever. Just need to call mom. It looks suspicious. That's a suspicious looking library. Especially in a place like this. No change left. Oh well, she's already going to be mad. A collect call can't make things much worse. Uh, hello? This isn't a dial tone. It sounds like a TV? What the heck is that? Ah! Ah! Oh gosh, it's a monster! What the heck? Oh gosh! Suck! Get away from me! <laughs> what happened? Can I move? What? Who are you? Shh! Deer man? Deer man? Can I get up now? Oh no, not yet. I, I have to get out of here. I... Huh? Is this a library card? What the hell is happening here? I pick up Clayton Malthus's library card. The guardian is outside. The windows and the door are covered in weird metallic vines. It's like industrial wire. I can't even get my fingers on underneath these. I don't have anything in my items? Ah, Mitch. 19 years old. Stuff. No, well, cards right here. Personal items. Heart medication. Files. Stuff. Nothing. Configuration. Constant run. Remember last choice. No, I want, I want Mitch to, like, constantly run. So I have an auto save, but let's go to file one. All the way to file twenty. All right, let's save. Let's save to like file one. File one. And god damn. Hey, I'm much faster. There's a fancy looking wooden plaque on the wall. Wait, could a library card fit in one of these slots? One of the slots are filled. Okay, the library's only payphone. I don't think I want to risk anything involving that thing again. Can I just take it? Nothing in the cha change tray. I just remembered that email my mom warned me about this. I'm actually pretty shocked there isn't a surprise email left by a crackhead in there. A snack! But wait. Oh, how did I forget about for the last game? Constant running is annoying. No, I'm st no even no even the even the finger screen, it's still it's still yeah. Something's in the vending machine. There's a, a library card in the vending machine. It stands out like a sore thumb. No spare changes here. Oh, excuse me. Okay, it feels like a point in. 
it feels like a point and click, but but actually I'm just playing as a finger. Alright, exit out here. An empty vending machine. I guess someone clean it out or they just don't bother with these and ones anymore. I guess someone clear clean it out or okay. What is that? Large screen photo of a man standing in front of a lighthouse. The light plaque on the bottom isn't great. Maybe this is from Fire Island? Fire Island? What is that? No thanks. Not gonna take it? No thanks. Hey, at least I can run. God damn. Can't go down here, but... Okay. God damn is it fuzzy. Just a lot of books. Fake plant in a pot. Look, it looks like that one plant my kindergarten teacher would sing about. Can I take it? No good reason to do that. Books. Okay, constantly look. Books. Okay. Books. Plant. Nope. Table? What? What? Inside the inside the man-eating plant? Look, this looks like a library car. I'm not sure if I can reach it from here, but it could be worth a shot. Is this going to be the first death? Let's see what happens. Oh, what the heck? Oh, that's nasty. The very first death, eaten by a man-eating plant. That's that's pretty nasty. Oh, that is a very immediate acid stomach. As you foolishly tried to lean in close to claim your prize, you slipped and fell. The pungent smell of the plant's liquid is your last sensation as all your flesh melts off immediately. It's, a, it's as if all the meat above your lungs was clearly ripped off like a glove. I wonder how long it will take for your bones to dissolve now. Don't worry, I've got a stopwatch to keep track for you. My treat. Dead end. Ugh, I died! Alright, let's check the grave. Oh, right there. Feed me, Mitch. Oh, right there. So, dead end. So, oh, this... So, there's a lot of... Oh, there's a lot of gra graves. There's a lot of graves. Oh wait, I'm just back to here. So, let's just resume. Let's just resume. Autosave. So I'm back to here. Even my gloves on, I don't want to touch any of that stuff. I remember seeing something like this on a videotape back in high school. Ugh, I don't know how, but it some smells both sickly sweet and, and like a rotting animal. Oh, I don't have anything to like destroy it. So I'm just so I'm just so I'm just alone in a very scary library. Looks like a naked department store mannequin. I remember there being a bunch of these getting sold off after that hoarder down down the street died. Why did the library buy them? Can I take it? I killed myself before dragging one of these around. Okay. That's something. Now it's time to go run. A fake plant in a pot. Look. I used to like pulling the leaves off the plastic leaves in the nurse's office as a kid. Can I take it? Oh, no good reason to do that. Oh. Gotta find some clues in order to, like, solve the puzzles. That's a lot of books, though. It's almost like there's no hint at all. Oh, I can't push the chair? 
take a look at Okay, you already said that. No good reason to do that. Deer man? It's the deer guy. Um, hi there? He stops typing and just stares at me. Sorry, never mind. Oh, he's not gonna talk talk to me? It doesn't look like that's his actual head. Is he wearing a deer mount as a mask somehow? Gotta keep my hands to myself for now. Ah, uh, looks like... Shouldn't this be in a place where anyone can grab it? Um, excuse me? Cow... Cow really got you. Little bit of... I don't speak dear man. Cow build the cob you. Uh, can I hold on to the fire extinguisher for a bit? The man? Behind the desk lets out a sigh. He is typing something on his typewriter. Please only use it for its intended use. We have a sprinkler system, but it will rather not. But I, but I would I would rather not put any of the books at risk. I got a fire extinguisher. Thanks. Can I talk to you now? Okay. So, I just got the thing. Can I take it? Nope. So I guess... So I guess... Yeah, I just got a fire ex extinguisher from the deer man. He seems like a okay guy so far. Even though he's pretty strange, it's a phone. That's weird. It's not plugged into anything. Can I take it? Nope. Oh, excuse me. No, no commentary on the books. Okay then. Now will be a good time to like save. Over save this one. Right, let's go to the left. Ugh. That's weird, it's not plugging to anything. Can I take it? Nope. Oh gosh! He's gone! Oh gosh! I'm not safe anymore! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh no! He's gonna get me! Oh gosh! I'm not even safe anymore! Run! Run! I'm, I'm not even safe at this spot. I just gotta run. Can I get out of here? Not now. What do you mean, not now? Not now. What do you mean, not now? Not even hiding the, in the toilet. Oh gosh! Uh, oh gosh! We must. I might as well just explore around the place while I'm running around like an idiot. Not now, what do you mean not now? I attack you! Oh. Oh, he pulled out my eyeballs. He just pulled out my eyeballs.
He just pulled out my eyeballs. Ah, oh, there he is. Sergey Reaper. Oh. Dead end. What basically happens if I get ca captured by the creature? No, I'll just save. I'm still getting chased, what the heck? Not now, what do you mean not now? Crap. We must keep going. You though I probably don't know how to defeat the monster itself. Oh no now I can't I cannot pick this up. This is a huge maze. Okay, at this point I really don't know where am I going. What the heck? Not now. I still have to run. Where you at though? Have I gotten myself lost? Oh, I have to hide. A large castle was painted on the felt. I remember when this used to be more ocean themed instead. I'm pretty sure it's what got me into marine biology as a kid. I kind of regret switching interests now. Huh. There's a light there's a lit torch painted onto the felt. There's an unlit torch painted onto the felt. That's weird. Why is this one different? Can I take it? It's it's painted on nothing to take. Can I use it to Can I use it? Oh, nope. So now that I'm here... So now that I'm here because I hid behind a, a giant teddy bear... Can I take it? A little pointless to take. What is that thing? It sits among... Can I take it? Something's inside of it. What do you mean, something's inside? Not sure how this can help me out. Toddler's toy, can I take it? What is this? Carved and painted to look like a bat. A wolf, a snack. Oh, I don't know the password. I don't know the password. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't know the password. So, yeah. So it looks like I got myself lost. Because... Because... Because I just got... Chased down by, by the monster.
Holy crap. Holy crap did I... Yeah. Small signal you know, on the bottom right corner of the monitor. Should I read it? Yes. Username Space Wolf. Password 9005385 Oop! Five thingamajudos. Oh. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if I should take. I wonder if I should take these notes. Because who in the world knows? Signal has been added to the files. Oh, damn it. If, as much as I want it, it would fucking suck if I escaped just to get arrested. Ugh, the, the F word. It's time to let the F word bomb. Nothing not happening. Please wait until morning. I can't tell if it's some kind of weird screensaver or not. Please wait until morning. There's a jewel case label with kids' fourth grade math adventures. Educational games are. Can I take them? Uh, oh, ironically, I'm playing a game in the perspective of a 19-year-old, of a 19-year-old teenager. If the water is meant to be pro or if it's just because of age. Little lighthouse on the inside, can I take it? Ow. Oh. 3D Fantasy Pinball 2000. Offers 10 different virtual pinball cabinets. Now oh, that's weird. Why not these computers? Ah, who knows. Look. Looks like that one plan my kindergarten teacher will sing, will sing about. Okay, so... I guess that's everything? Who is that in the picture? Ah, who knows. Oh, blocked off. It's a porcelain doll. I don't even like looking at it. Can I take it? Yeah, I'd rather not. It's a teddy bear. Look pretty old. Kind of creepy to see all these toys on up like this. Can I take it? Yeah, I'd rather not. A stuffed rabbit. How the ears are is either filled with wire or, or really overstuffed. Can I take it? I'd rather not. What a creepy doll? Some kind of handle. It's holding on tightly. Why? Can I take it? Oh, it's talking. Oh, oh, oh. Are you here to hold my hand? Uh-huh. You reach for my hand, right? Oh, right, right? Actually, can I have the handle? No, 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 no. I'm an anxious young lady. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. This is my comfort handle. I found it myself. I'll only give it to the root likes of you, you have a suitable replacement. Ow. Oh. Oh. Oh, second attempt, I died? Hey, is that what you wanted? You wanted to hold my hand, right? Hey, I just wanted the silly, where are you, why are you being so silly? You're lonely, aren't you? You get a whole lot of big feelings taking up a, a lot in you. No need to worry, we can help. I'll hold your hand the whole way through. Just let it all out. Oh, no! I'm stuck with the doll! Oh, gosh! The doll gutted me! And the doll... Poked my eyes out! And something happened to my mouth! Oh, that was... Oh, that was the dead. Oh, really? I died to a... I died to a creepy doll. Oh. 
That's unfortunate. There's a sad clown doll here. Something is suited to the clown doll. I can't break open the seals with my bare hands. I'd rather not. Okay. Huh. Well, that's something. And what is that? Library card in the puppet's mouth. Never saw anything like this in the library as a kid. Can I take it? Or is it gonna bite my hand? Whoa there, buddy. Take me out to dinner before you do that. Looks like my break time is over, folks. I guess one of you is an impatient pile of porcelain. The crowd of dolls laughing and cheering. Alright, Pally, I get it. What the little card I snatched out of the vents, right? Yes. Amazing, the dummy can't speak. But this is Pietro's special story time. Not little Hayes fever over here. Wait, what? I'll tell you what, puppet boy. I'll give you the car on one condition. I need you to help me perform a little fairy tale for the audience here. Once the story's over, I'll make sure you get your card. Ugh, we got ourselves a deal. Michione? What if I say no? No? Ha! Fine, then no car for you. Have fun turning into a little ice pot. Let me know when you regret your life, your life choices. Yes, fine, I'll help you with your story. Good choice, pal. Now all you have to do is follow the story. The three army surgeons. What is going on? What is this utter nonsense? There were once three army surgeons that were thought to be the very best of their kind. While traveling around the world, the three men stopped by an inn for the night. The innkeeper asked the men about their lives, which the army surgeons shared much of. Impressed by their stories, the innkeeper asked the men if they could demonstrate their abilities. The first surgeon claimed he could cut off his own hand, then reattach it in the morning. The second surgeon claimed he could tear out his own heart, then place it back perfectly inside in the morning. The third surgeon claimed he could pluck, a pluck out his own eyes and return them to his head in the morning. Even more impressed, the innkeeper told the men that they would be the, ma the true masters of their art if they could do such things. Where the heck am I? Large are hand up by strings. It's got attic sting all over it. Can't really tr try open with my fingers alone. This is strange. There's beard. Stuff fabric puppet hanging from the ceiling. I look like it's waving at me. At least it's not moving. Can I take it? Turning this thing around is one of the last thing I want to do right now. Wait, why did I went from over there to? Why did I went from point A to point B? A floor has. It, like it wants. To, it wants to budge. Who are you? Why am I made to look like a man? His face is covered in cracks. This the thing must be made out of porcelain or something fragile like that. Even though he's cracked, don't think. Don't think I can break anything with my bare hands. Huh. Can I? Ooh, I think I went a bit overboard. I don't like looking at it. I quickly grabbed the glass eyes and put them in my pockets where I don't have to look at them. Okay. So, I just smash its head. Well, that's something. They're ready to look back at me. Can I smash your head? Nope. Items, wooden block? Nope. Can 
I use the glass eyes? Nope. Can I smash your head? Nope. Can I use the wooden block? Nope. Okay. So I guess that part is done. I can't go to the left? There was on the right. Oh, nothing? Doesn't look like it wants to budge, but... There were once three blah 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 blah. I already read that. Oh, I guess I'll have to go out. Oh! The puppet's gone. So I guess. So I guess, yeah. No, nothing to interact here. The show is filled with books about crafts. Make your own pet rock? I don't allow the comment. Can I take it? Nope. I cannot. About dinosaurs. Pterodactyl trio. Spill pterodactyl and they are not dinosaurs. This should be here. Okay. What? What is going on? Ah! Whoa, whoa, wait, don't hurt me. The girl is making quick movement, movements with her hands. Her eyes widen before putting her head down and returning to her seat. Hold on, can you do that again? How long, oh, how long have you been in here? You know how to sign? Yeah, I mean, wow, you're the first visitor I've seen that knows it. Huh, I took a bunch of classes for it at the at the Y when I was in middle school. Thought it would make me cooler. Turns out it just made me look more like a nerd. Is that really a bad thing? Back then, yeah, less of a bad thing in college. You're really good at this. I had to learn from the books here. Come sit down with me. I can make sure none of the others here bother you for a bit. Is something wrong? No, I'm fine. Do I scare you? No, you're not scary. Don't lie. I know I look horrifying. I mean, you're nothing like that TV static thing. Huh, just looking at him felt like my brain will start... Would, ...would start to leak out of my ears. I'm really not upset, it's just something I've accepted. Most visitors scream when they see me. Yeesh, that's gotta be tough though. Wait, by visitors, do you mean the people who just come to the library? This library, not the one from the normal world. Most arrive by falling asleep in the normal library. They'll find themselves dreaming this place. Either they'll wake up on their own, or someone will kill them to force them to wake up. If you like, I can wake you up now. I can make it painless. No, I didn't fall asleep. I just walked in here to get out of the snowstorm. You may have just slipped through then. That's not good. Usually that happens with visitors coming from deeper within. That's not good. What does that mean? It means you're here with your physical body. If you die here, there's no way of knowing what will happen to you. The longer you stay, the more it will learn. The more it learns, the more ammunition it has to make you suffer. I would have run out after the static thing, but all the outside doors are covered in metal vines. After the D-Guys shot him, he left behind a library card. That's the main lead I've been following. Library card? I was wondering why she told me to hold on to my car all of a sudden. Do you have one? I did, but I used it as a bookmark. Sorry. Let me get the book. Whoa, are you alright? I'm fine. It just looks like a certain song doesn't want me to be the one to get it. <laughs> Pay attention. It's a book called Fred and the Bread Man. F repeat the title back so I know you clearly understand. Fred! And the bread man. No, oh well, Fred and the bread man. Fred and the bread man. Fred and the bread man. 
Why that one specifically? Fred and the bread man? It's about a crow. You should find it by the books about birds. Is it far? No. Should just be careful. Thanks. Oh, before I go, what's your name? Caroline. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to find someone I can trust here. I'll be right back with that book. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This is strange. Strange things are happening right now. Well, strange things are happening right now. Grizzly bedtime. Should I take a look? Yes. Sticky with something. The first EP is open without worrying about ripping it. Second story. Little sucker thumb. Oh my dear Conrad, said Mama on one lovely day. Go out and leave you all home all by yourself. Don't go about sucking your thumb while I am away. The great and tall tale will come to little boys who suck their thumbs before they even realize once he arrives he takes his great sharp scissors to cut their thumbs and clean up for they will never grow back. As soon as Mama turned her back while leaving through the door, dear Conrad had already placed his thumb into his mouth. Oh dear, oh dear. So the door flew open and he, and he ran. It was a great and tall scissor man. Now take a look children. The tailor has come and caught our little sucker thumb. The scissors went snip snip snip. Conrad went, ah, ah, ah. Snip, snip, snip. Both of Conrad's thumbs are now gone? I came home to a still and sat... Came to a, home to a still and sat Conrad. He showed his thumbless hands to Mama. Aha, Mama said. I knew he would comfort you, my naughty little sucker thumb. The end? Pears is fall out of the book. I take them without thinking. What? Suddenly the scissors just... pick a boom so I just got the scissors, probably by complete accident. My goodness, this is this is a very strange game. My goodness. Oh shoot, the book about boobs. We must get it. But before anything happens, I gotta say before anything happens. Look. Fred and the Breadman is in here. Filled with books about birds. Mama's hand is breakfast cookbook for kids. Mess up about a picture of a chicken frying eggs. Is in here. Wait, Fred and the Breadman is here. I grabbed the book off the shelf. Awesome. What the? What? What is going on? This this was never here before. This was never here before. Oh, they're trying to block me off. They're trying to block me off. From they're trying to block me off from Caroline. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, this was never there before. An old T bar that was converted to a booth for the summer reading program. Take a look. Cheap paper tickets on the table. When I was a kid, they gave you a ticket for every number of pages you read during the summer. After that, you could trade them in for prizes. Can I take it? It's not hard, but I don't think it'll hurt to take a prize ticket. Oh, I, t oh, I took it. Okay. Well, that's something. So that's something. Ah, oh, what the heck? So yeah, I can't place it back. So I just have to go through the maze in order to get out. What? What? Ah, oh, he's here! 
Oh gosh, it's the monster. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah. Uh. Ugh. Now that's gruesome. Ah, oh, what the heck? I died. I died. Hands I'll stretch. Wait, didn't I? Didn't I? Yeah. Can I just skip it? No, I can't skip it. I'm forced to see the cutscenes. Dead end. Rat in a maze. Oh. So that's just what happens. I'm just stuck here, aren't I? Auto, auto save? I grab it off the shelf, but then... But then because of that, I'm stuck in a maze. So if I... So if I stay here for too long, then... Yeah. Coming out of the bookshelf for some reason. It has a sign asking for, for, asking for summer reading tickets next to it. Do I have it? No, frick! I don't have it. Oh. Maybe that's why the monster was chasing me because I have the ticket. I have the ticket, and then and then I was going on my way there. Take it. So take it. Wait a minute. Why is it changing? Run. Am I going the right way? Come on, 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 come on! Something took the ticket! Yes! I escaped! Ha ha! A warm breeze is coming out of it. So I finally escaped! Awesome! Uh, scissors? I don't need my. I need. I don't need to remind myself. Wait, what? I don't need to remind. Remind myself to not play with scissors. You kidding me? Can I just use it? Bread book. Okay, so I escaped out of that trap. Save. Sitting here. Take a look. Can I use the scissors? There was a blank library card inside. I quickly take it. Oh, not much else to say? Anything that's gonna happen? No. I don't think so. Wait. Something feels strange. They're all looking to the right. They're all looking to the right it, as if something bad just happens. You're back. Did something happen? I'm sorry I couldn't come with you. Was it a trap? I'm, I'm alive now. It's fine. Glad you're okay. Hey, you don't have to cry. Sorry I made you worry like that. Can you read the book to me, Mitch? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Fred and the Bread Man. 
In a small, small town, there was a small, small tree. At the top of the small, small tree, there was a small, small nest. Inside that small, small nest was a small, small crow. This crow was named Fred. S screw the, screw the small and the small stuff. Fred was a lonely bird next to a lonely house. There was nobody who would stop by and see lonely Fred or the ah, ah, skip it by accident. The only thing Fred had for co company was shiny things, shiny pebbles, shiny leaves, and shiny paper. One day, an old man moved into the lonely house. Fred watched the many people bring many things into the lonely house. Even though many people brought in many things, they all ended up leaving old man alone in the lonely house. Alongside the many things, Fred began to watch the old man from his small nest. The old man would watch a colorful box, take loud naps, read large books, and cut himself some yummy bread. Fred didn't realize just how near he had gotten to the lonely house until he had smelled the old man's yummy bread. The old man also realized just how near Fred had gotten, so the old man gave Fred some yummy bread. Fred soon found himself coming back to the old man every day to get more yummy bread. This made the lonely house no longer lonely? One day Fred decided to give the old man one of his shiny things. This made the old man give Fred yummy cheese alongside the yummy bread. This continued until Fred had run out of shiny things. Fred was afraid that the old man wouldn't want to see him anymore if he didn't have anything to bring him. When Fred came to visit though, the old man had made a new house for Fred and inside was all of Fred's shiny things framed in labels. So Fred and the old man lived together in the no longer lonely house and enjoyed all the yummy bread and yummy cheese they wanted. The end. The card is here. Thank you. Huh? I should be thanking you. I used to read read that to my cousins while babysitting them. And my mom used to re read it to me when I was little. Don't die here, Mitch. Please, don't die here or anywhere near here. I'll try. I pick up Caroline Pargana's library card. I'll be fine here. Just do your best to get out of here. Oh. So I guess... So I guess, yeah. So I have two of them so far, I think. Did I? Not? I don't know. All I can say is that it's just crazy. These are some crazy things. Some weird superstitions. Why oh, there's just paper on the floor? Flowers. Marnie's pressed flowers. Really depressing read a class would have a semester dedicated to. Hair. Oh, Rapunzel. Texture feeling books, but the hair inside is all tangled. Gross. What? <laughs> what is that on the corner? Oh, it's unreachable. There must be a way. What is this? Oh jeez. So I'm back here again. So I guess I'm back here. Huh. Oh, and the deer man is back. Oh. Not much else to say after getting chased by... by the static man. What kind of stuff do I have? Hey, a uh, plant? I could talk to the plant? Oh, not much else to say. Can I give you a glass eye? No. 
Can I, uh, use scissors on you? Can I, uh, throw a wooden block inside? Can I, uh, use a fire extinguisher? No. No, I can't use it right here. Why not a bread book? Why not a bread book? Nope. I just can't do that. Oh, not yet. Sticky note. Two of the slots are filled. Okay, that's something. Man, this is something. How did I... How did... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Not now. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, crap. Find a place to hide. God damn it. Oh, really? Blocked up by a mannequin. Please. Oh, please don't go after me. Oh, oh gosh. Well, I gotta stop it right here. Oh, man. I gotta stop right here because, my goodness, this is a really interesting game. Yep, back to the title. So that's gonna be the end of Lost Cartridge, Code Read. Alright, so... This is a pretty interesting game. Although, although that would also mean I have to just look around, I would just have to look around and find find puzzles, or rather solve puzzles, and while also avoiding the static man. Alright, so... Alright, so... See you next time in the next video. Or a certain live stream. Alright, so... Bye! Ugh, Cole Reed. It's so...